with a new beak. An animal at the National Zoo struggling to pick up food because of a problem with his beak. WSA 9's Michael Quander explains he's eating like normal again thanks to help from a 3D printer. Yeah, guys, well, imagine trying to eat with your face smashed up against the side of your plate. That would be pretty hard, right? Well, that's similar to the only way a bird who lives inside of this enclosure was able to put food in his mouth. Hashtag, the struggle was real. Carl! All right, you all, this is Carl. He's an Abyssinian ground hornbill. They're usually found out of Africa. Now, when the National Zoo first got him, they realized his beak was shrinking from some sort of medical condition. Well, I mean, it's just sad, right? It's, it's nice when they're able to do what they're supposed to do and eat the normal way. They need their beaks to survive. If this were to happen to a bird in the wild, the bird could, um, could die. But look, Carl, he found a way. You can see him here, how he tilted his head to the side and kind of scooped his food off of the ground. But he still wasn't getting his full diet. Crickets, mealworms, um, he couldn't pick up the little things. Now the zoo tried making several prosthetics, but they kept falling off. So they eventually turned to newer technology using a 3D printer and an old skull. So let me tell you, it took several months and a whole lot of work to pull this off. And so far, it seems like everyone is happy with the outcome. He is loving his new beak. He, um, he's able to come out into the exhibit now and eat whatever we offer him. If we can help them in any way with technology, we might as well. So I think it's good. Well, now our boy Carl is back to eating like any other hornbill by tossing his food up and into his mouth. Well, maybe not like that. Reporting at the National Zoo tonight, Michael Quander, WUSA 9. Well, the zoo expects the prosthetic beak to last a while. Carl's keepers say, well, they'll be keeping an eye on it.